Hey there, everybody. Today, I'm going to go over with you your email details page when sending messages. Um, this video picks up after the step where you've actually created the email, the email portion of your message. OK, so we've got several different knowledge books, pages and videos that cover different ways in which you can do that. Um, this is once you've clicked that save and continue button there um, and save your your message. This is the page that <clears throat> that you're going to see. There's a couple of fields um, that are going to be super helpful to you. The first field available um, to you is message name. And um, by default, our system will create a message name for you. It's going to be uh, e-message colon with today's date and time. OK, um, and that's it's going to appear in this field. Um, and if you're in a super hurry or whatever, um, you know, you can certainly leave that. However, with six months from now, when you're trying to find a specific message that you sent, uh, especially depending on how often you email, that's not very helpful. So we encourage you to create message names that are, um, you know, helpful to you. No one sees the message name uh, but you. So let's just say... Um, OK, um, just a quick little um, message name that helps you identify. Then your email subject line, obviously, is what your people see in their email inbox. Uh, OK, uh, keep it short and sweet. Don't bait and switch. Don't use all caps. Don't put a thousand exclamation points or other characters in there. Um, those are all things that get you uh, reported as a spam or land you in the spam or the junk box instead of landing in the inbox. OK, so uh, keep your your subject line, you know, somewhat brief, professional, um, no all caps. OK, uh, then you're going to have your um, from name, from email address and reply to email. Those will all default um, to uh, the information that comes from your settings, whatever your your name is in your settings and your email address in your settings. However, if you wanted to, you could change these to whatever you like. Your from and reply to email address have to um, be valid email addresses, OK? Um, but you are absolutely uh, able to update those, change those on a specific message by message basis if you want to, if you don't want them to uh, be from or reply to whatever comes from your settings, OK? So um, once you've got this information um, all updated, um, then we're going to come down to the section, who do you want to receive this email? And then you'll see that you've got four different options. You can send your message to a group or groups. You could send to uh, individual contacts. Um, you can copy and paste contacts. You can send to everybody. So for your groups, um, you can uh, simply select a group here. Use the right pointing arrow to move that group over to the right. Okay. You can select um, consecutive multiple groups with your shift or control keys um, and then just move those over. You can use your right pointing uh, double arrows, move everybody over, move everybody back. Contacts on the right side are going to receive your message. Contacts on the left side are not going to receive your message, OK? You also have the flexibility. Let's say I want this message to go to my buyers group. But um, I also know that I have a specific contact uh, that's not in my buyer group who uh, has the name of Smith that I want to be sure receives this message. So then I can look for Smith or any part of a, uh, a name or email address. And then you can find individual contacts, OK? So I can use both of these options, right? And then let's say I also met somebody at a networking event last night and um, <clears throat> I hadn't had time to put them into my uh, database yet. So I can either use my address book importer right now and go ahead and import those or I can um, I can simply type in first last email cell phone, right? This shows you an example right here. And if you don't have all that information, you might just have an email address. That's fine. Just type it in here. And if you have more, just um, do a return. Don't use any punctu punctuation or commas or anything like that. One record per row. Um, just return after each one, OK? All right. And that's it.
Uh, and then your other um, final option is to send override settings above, send to all contacts, obviously. Self-explanatory, doesn't matter what you choose up here. If you hit this button, it goes to everyone, okay? And then when you're ready, you can just go ahead and hit save and continue. That's a super quick look at your email details page.